Um, the heart, that's the last um, organ I, I want to deal with before, before um, passing over to Diane. But there are different types of heart involvement. There's possibly a little bit less known about the heart and scleroderma than the kidneys or the heart or the, or, or, or the kidneys or the lungs, sorry. But, but it's interesting because there's a big interest now because of the imaging techniques, for example, a type of imaging called magnetic resonance imaging, you can visualise a heart. And I think because of that and because of other uh, advances, it's easier to study the heart than it used to be. And so we, d we are learning a lot more about it than we used to, 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 to know. And there are different types of heart involvement. The pericardium is the, la the thing that's the structure, the sac that surrounds the heart, and that can become involved in scleroderma. You can get fluid in what we call the pericardial space. The myocardium is the muscle of the heart, and that can sometimes become involved in scleroderma. And you can also get um, <coughs> what are called conduction abnormalities, because the heart has what we call a conducting system, and it can, it can result in the heart either going too fast or too slowly, you know, sort of a little bit paradoxically. And we need to be aware of that possibility in those of you that have scleroderma. So the symptoms of heart disease are a little bit like lung disease. You know, people may develop breathlessness or ankle swelling or complain of palpitations. Occasionally you can get some chest pain, although that's um, a bit less common. So again, this is just an example of a chest x-ray. This uh, um, person's got a great big um, heart, and that's much larger than it ought to be. This is a heart here that you've seen. These other lung fields are quite clear. But, and this person had what's called a pericardial effusion. You know, they had fluid um, surrounding the heart, which um, had to get um, treated. And this is just an ECG, a cardiograph. Many of you here will have had a cardiograph. And you have to take it from me, this heart's going far, far too quickly. So that's um, not good news, and this was secondary to uh, a scleroderma-related um, problem.